Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Chris Miles. I'm right back at you. So it turns out that Kamala Inhoff was using earbuds. She had earbuds in to basically know what to say, when to say, and how to say. Yes. So this is the thing with me. Like, for all of the people out there that are supporting this woman, do you all not see and understand the gimmick, the con job that's being ran on you all? Like, this woman had on earbuds, and they were talking to her, telling her what to say, how to say it, and when to say it. So it turns out Kamala Harris had on something called the Nova H1 audio earrings aren't your average ear candy, okay? So she had on Nova H1s. You all can see what it is. I want you all to go Google Nova H1s. I, somebody said, and I'm quoting, I've tested all sorts of small wearable and ex accessories, but at CES 2013, I experienced a first one clip on a pair of the Nova H1 audio earrings. Yes, smart earrings that feature integrated headset. So there you go. Kamala Inhoff is a con job, people. Don't fall for the bullshit. This woman is a complete con job. Now, I'm getting everybody coming at me, and they're saying, well, you know, how could you support that of Donald Trump? Uh, Donald Trump is a con job. Donald Trump is this. Donald Trump is that. Okay. Well, think and believe what you want to think about Donald Trump. But what I find ironic and what I find interesting is that Kamala Inhofe is not held to the same standard or the same scrutiny that Donald Trump is held to. That's what we're dealing with. And it's a sad state of affairs, what we're dealing with. And I promise everybody out there, this will be a plethora of problems that we see to come. So you know what? She might very well be the next president. But we're going to see, because for a lot of you all out there, it's more symbolic than anything. Y'all don't give a fuck about, are you going to get anything out of, you don't care about policy. You don't care about any of that. What you do care about is the fact of what it looks like on paper. So you can go out to the restaurants and you can feel important, but not get any substance for what she ran on. They painted Trump to be a hard nose, just irresponsible racist bigot. But no one ever says anything about the system. She brought it out last night. She came out and talked about the Central Park Five. But what she didn't talk about that the lady that um, prosecuted the Central Park Five were Democrats. People act as if Donald Trump prosecuted the Central Park Five. Everybody goes back and says, oh, well, Donald Trump would not rent his apartments to black people. They don't tell you that Donald Trump financed Jesse Jackson's presidential run for president. They don't tell you about all of the black people that couldn't go to uh, uh, Chase, or one of these uh, mega banks out here and get a loan, but they went to Donald Trump and got the money to start up their business. They don't tell you about any of that. But what they will show you is or tell you about some negative, condescending bullshit that they've concocted about this man. Personally, I don't really have a, a dog in the fight. Somebody told me, said, well, uh, you have to vote for the less of two evils. And I say, no, that's bullshit. You vote for the person that you have something in common with. Do you have something in common with Kamala Inhofe or do you have something in common with Donald Trump? Meaning it's about the policies. All of the things that she represents, I'm against that. I'm, I'm completely against putting tampons in men's bathroom, the young, young men bathroom. I'm against, uh, uh, men being a part of women's sports. I'm against somebody having a, uh, a, a personal bill, 
of, of a federal personal preference bill federally uh, based upon their sexual origin, especially when that person is mentally ill. I'm against all of that. The Asian, Asians have a uh, crime bill of protection, whereas black people. What, what Joe Biden gave us was a, uh, a holiday, which black folks are already celebrating. Now, somebody that looks like Joe Biden goes out and trademark and now they're getting all of the money off of Juneteenth. But I just wanted to bring to everybody's um, 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 mindset the acknowledgement of what this woman had on. This woman had on Nova H1 audio earrings. I want everybody to go out there and look at it. Nova 1 audio earrings is what she had. So they were talking to her, telling her what to say. This is your next president, possibly. I'm Chris Miles. You're watching the Chris Miles Show. Drop your comments below. Until next time, the moving finger rice as written moves on to all of you.